welcome to the star party. Wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A lifelong star party. Ooh, what's that? Whether you've just gotten a telescope, or still thinking about which type of telescope to get, or maybe you've owned one for years and you'd like to rediscover the joys of observing. Oh my God! <laughs> this guide is for you. Ask 10 people on the street what a telescope does, and nine of them will probably tell you, well, it makes things look bigger. That's true, but that's not the most important thing. By far, the most vital service a telescope performs for you is to gather light. Want proof? Step outside from your nice, brightly lit indoor location into a dark night. Now look at the sky, just with your eyes. What do you see? Probably not much beyond the moon and a few stars, maybe a planet or two. But stay and stare for a while. In a few minutes, you'll see hundreds. Then later on, possibly thousands. What happened? Your eyes adjusted and were able to fill in a picture of the night sky. That's what your telescope does for you. It collects more dim light in a shorter time than your eye could by itself. A big light bucket like this one can accumulate enough dim, old light to reveal some amazing large objects. Our galactic neighbor, the Andromeda Galaxy, actually covers an area on the sky nearly six times wider than the full moon. But you never see that with your eyes alone, even if you could stare without blinking or moving a muscle all night. Primarily, a telescope gathers light, and they can also magnify objects. A larger aperture, which usually means a wider telescope diameter, means you're gathering more light. And some objects in the sky are surprisingly big. They're probably bigger than you think. We have much more to show you about telescopes and observing. You can scroll through and click on any of the movies below for particular topics, or just let them all play. <laughs>